Hey there, my creepy brothers and sisters and creaky misses and misters. Welcome once again to the Mask Fan Attic, where it's always dark and filthy and cluttered with junk. But at least it's cool junk, such as old, interesting Halloween masks. Tonight's uh, rarity from the vault isn't exactly a Halloween mask in as much as uh, people wore it while they went uh, to Halloween parties. No, because there weren't that many of them made. Uh, tonight's uh, rarity is, in fact, this good-looking youngster right here, Orville. That's right, Orville. Uh, now you're asking, is that Orville Wright of the Wright Brothers? Is it Orville Fright of the Fright Brothers? Is it uh, Orville, Orville, what's, what's the popcorn guy's name? Orville Rotten Popper? No, it's not him either. It's technically Orville Dunworth, although I don't believe anybody ever said the name Dunworth in the movie. What movie? The movie in which Orville appeared. Filmed in 1971, I believe released in 1972, Children Shouldn't Play With Dead Things. Uh, directed by none other than Bob Clark, who would go on to uh, greater fame and notoriety with movies like A Christmas Story. That's right, the one about Ralphie and, and uh, the, the BB gun and all that. Yeah, Christmas Story. Well, before that, uh, Mr. Clark uh, scared the world of drive-in goers with Children Shouldn't Play With Dead Things from the early 70s. Now, Orville here uh, never actually made it as a commercially produced mask because not that many people uh, saw the movie. It's a, it's a grade B, kind of an obscure uh, thing, although it's quite popular in horror fan circles because even though it doesn't have much of a plot and it doesn't have much action and it takes forever to get going, once it gets going, it's really scary, and I think it's one of the scarier zombie movies uh, to this day. The part where the zombies finally come out of the graves near the end might be my favorite zombies coming out of graves sequence in all of movie history. And I would go so far as to say that Orville here is probably one of the most frightening zombies in movie history, even though he's only in the movie for about one minute as a zombie. The rest of the time, he's just dead. He's a corpse who's just lying around like a, a prop or set decoration until the very end when he finally gets up. And man, is he scary when he gets up. Something to uh, scare other zombies. He's so scary. But uh, again, you only get to see him for a minute. So, so don't blink while uh, Orville is being scary there. But Orville Dunworth here, better known as simply Orville, sometimes Uncle Orville, Although I don't think they called him Uncle Orville in the movie. I don't, I don't believe they did. They may have. I don't think they did. Um, the maker of this mask sometimes referred to it as Uncle Orville. Now the maker of this mask is none other than Jeff Wehinkle, a fantastically talented uh, maker of monsters and masks and, and uh, props for haunted houses and Halloween collectibles and such. For many years, this guy came out around 1998. It was intended to be an edition of 13 copies, but I don't believe it ever got that far. I think only maybe maybe eight or nine uh, were made. I don't think it ever went as far as, um, as the 13. Uh, I happened to get number two out of the mold, and I've still got it all these years later, as you can see, because if I didn't still have it, would I be able to do this? Hmm? Uh, now, this particular one, I painted it myself, and um, Laura, my long-suffering spouse, did the hair on it. Uh, I think we did one other one, maybe two other ones. The remainder were painted and haired by Jeff Wehenkel himself. And he doesn't even remember exactly how many of these there were, because it's been a long time and the mold has been gone for many, many years. Um, so you're not likely to find a re-release of this one unless somebody remolds one of these and then it'll be a little smaller because there's shrinkage when you remold a mask and well uh, let's just say you probably won't see a reissue of this particular edition of Orville played by somebody named Seth Sklary. Seth like Seth Green last name was S-K-L-A-R-E-Y which is uh, an odd name I think I've never heard of anybody else by that that name I've never known anybody but Orville, whose name was Sclary. Never mind. Orville Dunworth here. A uh, very cool and scary zombie. And he really did have this big, puffy, fluffy hair in the movie. And these big, uh, they're extra thick, extra shaggy Elvis Presley type sideburns. He really uh, does have that in the film. 
And uh, well, I'm glad to have mine. I think it's a very scary mask, and it was a good part of uh, horror hotel displays for a number of years. And if you can find one on eBay or some uh, some used mask website out there, I highly recommend the gorgeous Jeff Wehinkle take on Orville Dunworth from Children Should and Play with Dead Things. And that's about all I have to say about Old Orville. So remember, until next time, uh, this is Dr. Lady reminding you that you can lead a sow to water, but you can't make a silk purse out of a horse's ear.